joined here by Scott McHugh, the new British champion. An incredible fight. You'll be hard pressed to find a better fight than that, but you know, he took him the full distance and it was a majority decision in the end. The right decision. Yeah, it was. Do um, you know what? I'm fucking buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. I've just beat the veteran. Much respect to Sean. Toughest fight I've had. Do you know what I mean? Um, he just kept coming. I couldn't hurt him with fuck all. Dropped him with one shot. Couldn't do all. Well. Couldn't see out in fifth round. But you know, I dug deep and I fucking did it. I can't believe it, man. I just beat the veteran and beat the legend, do you know what I mean? Who's next? Where's world titles at now? Brought my hand, nothing. But I mean, that elevates you massively up the pound for pound rankings. It puts you in a, a massive position, beating the second most experienced Benacle fighter in BKB. So, so how important was that for career progression? Well, yeah, do you know what? It was fucking, it means world to me. I trained me, Tobin, Lee Walker, Mark Hughes, Scouts, my coach. Absolutely fucking smash the training. If you want for Tobin, I won't be here where I am today. You know what I mean? Let's use his gym, text me on pads. Fucking, we all train like absolute animals there. Do you know? And it just shows you. And so many evolutions to your game. You, you started in really as a green fighter. I remember you coming in, you, you had that fight with Tony Lafter, you dropped multiple times, and we saw a little bit of immaturity in that fight, but with every single fight you've improved, and this fight, your best performance to date. So what can you dedicate that to? You've mentioned your trainers there. Yeah, um, also Phil Walker, my sponsors, Brookie Adam, Amiga Stone. You know, they've all fucking looked after me. So I wouldn't be in, um, getting my training camps out of it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy, do you know what I mean? Thanks to everyone who come and bought tickets. I'd give you everything I had in there. I was hurt sometimes, but you've got to keep coming on forward, haven't you? You, work, you, wanna, you wanna fucking get something, you work for it. You believe and achieve, like my mate Lee says. Focus, believe, and you, you get it, but yeah. And obviously, Sean was talking about the rematch there. Are you open to that, or would you want to progress and fight a different opponent? Fucking want laugh at her. Beat me, didn't you, first fight? Where the fuck are you now, eh? Come and get these belts, mate, because you'll be getting knocked out in first round. No, I'm only messing, I love you, Tony. <laughs> no, do you know what, I think Tony, he deserves a re he de 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 no another opportunity of these belts. He does want the guy's a fucking legend. Sean's beat him twice, I'll give him a shot, do you know what I mean? So, he beat me at first, you know, he can have his rematch with his belts, he deserves it, the guy's a warrior. So finally, people you want to thank? Yeah, like say, Phil Walker, um, main sponsors, Mega Stone, Brookie Adam, Clean Bees as well, Tobin, everyone, thank you. Don't know what else to say. Um, another thing as well, Ben Binks, um, his son, he's got a, a rare disease, brittle bone disease. I ain't got my t-shirt, oh Lee, can you just come at camera? So, um, the brittle bone disease he's got is just here. Don't know if you can see it to camera. Um, he's raffling off his house. Also, his super bike, his Range Rover, they're moving to Spain to get um, extra treatment for his little boy, so, yeah. Class words, Scott, well done, Thank my man. Thank you. Thank you, buddy.